Hello guys, well, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I am bringing you a Kanu Ultimate Team Heroes EAFC 24 player review. Um, new one to EAFC 24, wasn't on FIFA 23. Six foot five, medium, medium on the work rates, three star skill moves, three star weak foot, controlled acceleration, right footed. 86 overall and he is Premier League for the uh, for the chemistry. So 46,000 coins I paid for him. Let's see if he's worth it, shall we? 79 pace, very low unfortunately for a striker. Um, hopefully the, uh, the pace won't matter too much he has got 85 shooting which does get some nice boosts there as well with the finisher um its actual finishing goes up to 99 which is fantastic of course um 81 passing not too bad short pass 86 as well so that's really really good 87 dribbling is also very very nice for a big man with that agility and balance you wouldn't really expect that 88 dribbling goes up to a 99 and then 89 composure as well only 40 defending, but he's got 78 head and accuracy, and that's the main thing for a striker. And then a 75 physical with 78 strength, a little bit low for someone so big. I thought that he might be able to like muscle some people off the ball. Um, that doesn't matter too much though, because he has got that really good dribbling, so the agility and balance should hopefully make up for it. It's the pace that's worrying me a little bit. So, what you're seeing here, yes, I am 3 1 down, um, and what you're seeing here, unfortunately, is, uh, is a bit of an onslaught. But Kanu is here. This is my best game with Kanu, so take that <laughs> as you will, because uh, you'll see what I mean by that in just a moment. There's on Henry. Unfortunately, I wish it was Henry. Henry to Kanu is our golden years. There is Kanu, though. Really good dribbling shown, and he gets a shot away, saved by Sanchez. Um, there, really good save, um, and then offside, unfortunately, for Antonio. But yeah. I said, I pl this is actually my seventh game with him, and this is my best game. Normally, I only play five games. All of this, you can probably tell where I'm going with it. Normally, I only play five games, and I get some clips that are good enough to, to make a review of. This one, <laughs> unfortunately, it took me eight games. Um, so, yeah, I will we'll see, though. Henry, unfortunately, didn't manage to finish that. Maybe I should have left that for Carnu to try and get a shot, but, um, yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he didn't sort of build my trust or uh, confidence in him in the last few games so I don't know um, yeah let's get into it I guess stat by stat um, so his pace did feel ridiculously slow um, Peter Crouch levels <laughs> we're going Peter Crouch levels unfortunately felt really really slow um, and and I don't know if that there you go Harlan I don't know if that um, is what the cause of the the main issue that I found with him was and that being that he was just always out of position he was never ever forward enough to manage to get some shots that shot that you saw there in the uh, the first like minute well 10 seconds of this actual gameplay was the first shot that I had on target with him in seven games and he's a striker and it just, it just blows my mind that he was not in any position to even get a shot like unless you wanted to shoot from 40 yards out there is no way that you're going to be able to get shots on target with this guy I don't know if it's the formation that I'm playing I'm doing 4-1-2-1-2 two, two. Um, I don't know if that was the reason I have no idea but he was just never ever in a position where he was able to shoot I, yeah I don't have the answers for it it just never ended up there um, as Antonio here he is though in the middle and there he is almost getting a shot away and that just brings me on to the dribbling and it was sluggish it just felt so sluggish like you just saw there it took him so long he was winding back for for a shot and, and that was everything about him just felt like he was just winding around like just trying to get himself going it took like 10 seconds extra um, not 10 seconds that might be an over exaggeration two seconds more than what any other player would do to manage to turn to manage to get past players to shoot to pass to everything everything just seemed like it was in slow motion with this guy and that is not what you want when you're playing FIFA or EA FC 24 I will get there eventually um, but yeah he just I don't know there was just something about him it just felt so sluggish there he is he he, well, he would have won a free kick there. I think he actually does so get the yellow card. But, uh, I mean, that's probably his best thing that he's actually managed to do. His touch was terrible as well. You would not want him going near your newborn child. <laughs> his touch could kill. I'm pretty sure of it. It, it. Literally, the ball would come to his feet and it would just bounce off like a like a bouncy ball. I don't even know what to say. It was just dreadful. Like I'm trying to think of some good things to say. I guess... His physicality was okay, like he wasn't getting pushed off the ball too much, but I don't know if that's just because he didn't have the ball very much, I don't know. But this guy, I was hoping that it would be like some cheap solution to Haaland, uh, managed to get like a cheap beast, like physical, decent-ish pace, good finishing, no. 
he is not that unfortunately I wish that it was I was fully expecting to be able to come here and look I'm an Arsenal fan so um, this is even with my bias imagine if I wasn't an Arsenal fan um, I just I can't this guy just did not perform well for me whatsoever and I was so disappointed a new hero new Arsenal hero and I was just thinking that this guy is going to be setting the world on fire as, a, as an, an alternative to Harlem but let's get back into it so 79 pays honestly I feel like that's generous I'm going to have to bring it down to about a 73 just felt so slow and just plodding along not getting anywhere near the goal 85 shooting to be honest he only had one shot for me it was on target but it didn't go in the back of the net I, I'm, you know I can't do anything with it because I didn't get to try it enough and that's mad to say as a striker we'll just leave it at 85 81 passing actually his passing was probably his highlight we'll bring it up to an 83 dribbling no way it was an 87 felt like an 81 just sluggish just sloppy his first touch was awful how that he's got an 89 ball control is beyond me just yeah no 81 40 defending sure uh, he's a striker ish mm, i don't know if he is um, but 40 defending yeah fine and then 75 physical actually probably does feel about right i was expecting six foot five he would be out to muscle people off the ball but he was the one getting muscled off the ball sometimes 78 strength probably does feel about right 75 overall physical so you know i mean this is the most negative review that I've done on EAFC 24. It's quite rare that I do these sorts of reviews. On FIFA 23, if you go back and watch any of those, maybe like 10 um, have been this negative. This was terrible. I could not wait to get him out of the squad. I felt like I had to try and at least get a shot on target before I did a review. Got the shot on target and now he's gone. So is he worth it? 46k? Absolutely not. 46 coins would be a waste of your money. Do not get this card. It is dreadful. So hopefully this video has saved you um, from spending some coins on this card. If it has, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. There will be a link in the description down below full of EAFC 24 player reviews. As always, guys, thank you for watching.